Dr. Henry Richter. You are a scientist, you're a Bible-believing Christian. You helped land a craft on the moon and that paved the way for the later Apollo missions. So we could compute just where the moon was, set the guidance system to aim for that point in space so it meets the moon at the proper place at the proper time. I cannot believe that people actually believe in a flat Earth at this point in time. We know from satellite tracking that the satellites do go around the world and come back up the other side. We have scientific measurements as to how clearly a sphere we have. The modern flat Earth people, they have a spotlight sun that just does this over flat Earth. So really they've rejected all experimental science because we can measure the distance to the sun. It's easy. Also, South Africa is in the same time zone as Germany, but at night the Germans see the North Star while South Africans are viewing the Southern Cross, the same constellations as seen from New Zealand. This is only possible on a round Earth. Finally, Jesus himself must have known about different time zones. He spoke of the Second Coming, which will be in an instant. Two people would be in bed at night, but at the same time, two women would be grinding corn in the morning. So Jesus understood that at one time, some parts of the earth would be morning and other parts at night. For the past 2,000 years, Christian scholarship has been unanimous that the earth is a sphere. I really want to appeal to people to use your critical thinking skills. For all the people back on earth, we prove Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. 